Hey folks, Tony here. I want to make a quick response to a, a subscriber who has asked me a question. And I've sort of touched on this before, sort of explaining why it happens, but not what you can do to try to alleviate it. And let me just read what he's asking ask me here. He says, hello, Tony. Lately, I've been seeing your videos. I like them a lot. I have several questions about uploading, etc. Uh, number one, I recorded 1080p, 48 frames per second, super view on a hike. And right away, I uploaded it to YouTube, and I see really bad motion blur. So I tested it out in a swimming pool, 1080p, 30 frames per second super view, and I can still see the motion blur in this video. Is it because of the super view mode? How can I upload? How can I upload the videos that makes them look like it is like it is similar to the video I can view on my computer? I understand the quality loss is due to YouTube, but I look at yours and other people's videos and their video is clear and nicer than mine. I need help. Okay, quick answer. And I've not seen this gentleman's video. He's going to, or this guy's video, he's going to uh, share it with me. But right quickly, I can tell you probably what it is. He shot at 48 frames per second. Usually the reason you shoot at 48 or 60 or whatever is so you can perhaps slow things down, you know. Uh, you can capture video, yes, quicker. The GoPro actually does a really good job even recording at uh, 24 frames per second, though you just you will get some blur between the frames, right? So you can shoot at 60 frames per second, you can shoot at 48 frames per second, but when you go to YouTube, sometimes to get the best quality, you can take it down, you can convert down frames. The fact that you have shot at 48 frames per second or 60 frames per second means you're going to catch that data very quickly. But you can then convert down. Now, if you're trying to, let's say, let's say you're going through some complex scenery. There's lots of trees, there's lots of leaves, there's limbs sticking all up. As that data is changing very quickly, YouTube does compress that video and it tries to render that video out in its very compressed state. Uh, and it's a lot of data changing very quickly. Right now in this room, with nothing changing behind me, um, I, could, I can upload this at 30 frames per second, and it's going to look crisp and clear and beautiful. If there were lots of trees changing real quickly behind me, those trees and the complexity of it, all those leaves, all those limbs intertwined and stuff like that, complicated rocks and things like that, it's going to cause motion blur. It's going to cause blockiness. I can just almost guarantee this guy's seeing blockiness and some blur and loss of detail in the fine areas. If he, if, let's say he's, he's hiking through this area and he just stops and he stands there for a minute, then everything on the video will look good. The blockiness will go away. Maybe you've seen this before. So, what do we do about this? My best advice is you lower your frame rate. If you've shot at 48, go ahead and export at 24, or even better, and this, this some people are gonna rip me a new one for saying this, but I do not think 12 frame per second video looks bad. You can shoot in 48, get all the detail you want. You can, uh, what I would do is drag it into a Premiere sequence, Adobe Premiere, if you're using uh, Apple iMovie, or you're using Premiere Pro, or some other, editing program you should be able to to export at a high bit rate by that i mean like you know 20 24 30 megabytes per second we're talking about data now right but you could export it at 12 or 24 frames per second i know youtube will accept 12 frames per second it prefers 30 frames per second but if you were to upload let's say 48 frame per second video at 12 frames per second all your cool data, all the motion you're trying to get would be there, and it would be there sharp and crisp. It would just be represented at 12 frames per second. It might look a little choppy to you, but I've tried this before. It looks really good. What that means is that instead of YouTube trying to compress all that data, uh, like at 30 frames per second, all that complicated data, 30 times a second, it only has to do it 24 times per second or 12 times per second. Matter of fact, YouTube might even let you go lower than that, but I would say if you shot at at 30 frames per second and you're getting lots of just blockiness and blurriness, try doing 15 frames. Try, try using your software to convert down to 15 frames per second. You know, the scenario is you might be uploading at 30 frames per second and maybe 30 megs per second. That means that each frame gets one meg of data, right, to upload. Now, YouTube's gonna knock that down like by a factor of 10 it's gonna take it down to like 300K a second. So YouTube's gonna blow a lot of your data away right there. A lot of your detail's gonna be gone. Give YouTube something simpler to deal with. 
instead of doing your 30 frame per second, try 15. Instead of doing your 48, go ahead and record that way. I'm not saying don't record that way because it's going to look splendid on your computer and you're going to get your uh, video without the motion blur. What he's calling motion blur, I'm sure he's seeing, is just artifacts. It's, it's YouTube over compressing video that it can't process. It does not have enough data in those frames. When he watches it on his computer, he's seen it in pristine, I think, it's, I think it uh, records on my GoPro Hero 3, 35 megs per second. Uh, there may be some modes that go over 40 megs per second. So what he's seeing on his computer screen looks splendid. Then he uploads it to YouTube and it goes all to crap. Just simplify for YouTube. Lower frame rates. Go ahead and give it plenty of data though. I still, you know, let's say typically that you do it 30 frames per second or 48 frames per second. You're not going to take 48. Let's say you're going to do 30 uh, frames per second or 24 frames per second and you're going to give them maybe 20 to 30 megs per second. Go ahead and still give them the 20 to 30 megs per second. Just give them 12, uh, 12 frames per second or 15 frames per second. Watch your result when you see it in YouTube and you'll see a lot better results. It'll look a lot sharper and crisper. And that's really what it's about. I don't think people expect, you know, it's just incredible uh, frame rate stuff coming in off the computer, but they do like to see things looking sharp and clear. Give it a shot. I think it'll help. That's my best advice today. Cheers. Peace to all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you like.